Welcome fellow healers. Today we're going to gather to explore a topic that's really important to anyone engaged in a healing practice, but it's also really good guidance for life in general. We're going to talk about setting boundaries and nurturing self-care while you're providing healing services to others. Now as compassionate souls who give so much of ourselves in different ways, it's essential that we learn to navigate the challenges that come with this beautiful journey. We're going to explore these challenges and energetic boundaries and the self-care we need to allow ourselves while providing these services. We're going to talk about seven points today just to reflect on to maintain your well-being. Point number one, recognize your own energetic limits. We must remember that our energetic balance is vital to be good in healing work. Do you honor yourself when making schedules and plans or engaging in healing sessions? Take a moment just to reflect on your personal energetic capacity and your needs. Learn to listen to your body and your spirit and let it guide you in your engagement. Understand there may be cycles where you're more and less able to engage and you have to honor this flow and your need for personal time. Acknowledge that it's okay to establish these kinds of boundaries to prevent exhaustion and maintain a sustainable practice. Point number two, establish clear communication with your clients. Open and honest communication is key. Let your clients know what you can offer and what you cannot. Form clarity around guidelines that will support a healthy healing relationship. Discuss your time management or things you may need in your practice. Set boundaries on time for sessions. Allow scheduling gaps for self-care between sessions and maintain them as the day unfolds. Discuss any management rules of your business or how to contact you or your office. What time frame to expect a reply. Maybe cancellation policies, disclaimers, etc. By setting expectations from the start, we create a harmonious space for both ourselves and for those we serve. Point number three, develop self-care rituals and practices. Remember, self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Nurture your own well-being by incorporating practices that replenish your energy. This is always a very personal thing to consider, and what this may be will vary from one person to the next. Whether it's meditating or spending time in nature, pursuing activities that bring you joy, prioritize your self-care as a very integral part of your healing journey. Point number four, create a supportive network. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who understand the challenges that are faced as healers. Share your experiences, your insights, and ask for advice. Together we can build a community that uplifts and supports one another, fostering growth and resilience. Develop a network of people who can freely and non-judgmentally discuss your experiences with you when necessary and help you realign when or if you feel the need or you feel like you're off track. Point number five, regularly evaluate and reassess your boundaries. Just as we grow and evolve, so do the need for the boundaries we keep. Take the time to reflect on your engagement and your satisfaction in your practice. Tune into yourself and ask what's working well and what needs attention. Give yourself permission to follow your inner guidance and make any and all adjustments as needed. Do you need to adjust your hours, the time you are spending with clients, the fees that support your practice? Remember, boundaries are not set in stone, they're fluid and they should align with your current needs and circumstances. They create a framework for your excellence. Point number six, seek professional guidance and supervision. Consider working with a mentor or a supervisor, a coach or a colleague, someone to share your challenges, to look to for guidance on how you can better manage your practice, your boundaries with clients, business elements in your practice, scheduling, billing, and so forth. It may be someone who specializes in supporting healers. Their expertise can provide invaluable guidance, helping you navigate some of the complexities of maintaining boundaries and self-care while serving others. Point number seven, 
recognize compassion fatigue. Compassion fatigue is a common challenge for healers. As we tend to give so much of ourselves to others, it's crucial to acknowledge our own limits and understand when we need to replenish our own energy. When we find ourselves lacking, it's time to turn inward for guidance of what we need to do or choices that we need to make for our own care. Engaging in regular self-care activities becomes essential in preventing and managing compassion fatigue. Whether it's through meditation, spending time in nature, expressing ourselves through journaling, traveling, these practices all help us reconnect with our own needs and restore our inner balance. So dear fellow healers, let us remember that setting boundaries, clear, effective communication, and nurturing self-care are genuine acts of self-preservation and love. By honoring our own needs, we ensure we can continue to bring healing and light to those who seek service. Together, let us embrace these principles as we navigate the sacred path of healing. I hope it's been helpful in supporting your work and service as a healer our time today. If you're interested in learning more about healing, of course, be sure to check out all the information we have on our website, Unity Field Healing. And of course, if you're not a practitioner, we'd love to welcome you to the family of Unity Field Healing Practitioners too. And tune in next month for the next episode when we'll explore building a thriving practice, sharing strategies for marketing, client engagement, creating a successful healing practice. Namaste. See you next time as we work to unleash the healer's fire in you.